So a couple of days ago, I made a Monster Hunter video, basically revisiting Monster Hunter World because I had been itching to play it. I showed off a few things in that video with a little bit of the character creation, showed some of the armor that my character had, and showed me using the light blowgun class, which is one of my favorite classes to use. But I realized there's a lot of things that I left out. One major thing that I left out is to somebody who's never played Monster Hunter, what is Monster Hunter? What is your purpose? What do you do? With Monster Hunter, you basically are a hunter and you stay within this kind of like village of people who live together in this environment. It changes based on whatever game you're playing, but that's at, at its core, you stay in a village with people, right? And around this village, there's different biomes, different areas. You have mountain kind of areas that might be cold. You have uh, desert-like areas, you have jungle areas, you have wetlands, all kinds of different stuff, lava parts, underground, anything your mind can really think of, depending on what game it is, you're gonna have different biomes with those kinds of environments. In those different biomes, there are lots of wildlife that live there. And there are also these gigantic creatures that are referred to as monsters, but they all have different names and unique characteristics about them. And it's just really cool. There's almost like a hundred monsters, I think, in these games. In Monster Hunter World, there's probably like a hundred monsters or even more. And, you know, you just want to go throughout the game, hunting down these different beasts. And the allure for the player is you get new weapons and armor and just different things that you can upgrade to make your experience of hunting the monsters not only funner but you get to look cool while doing it and um you know who doesn't like looking cool while hunting <laughs> but no there's different weapons and everything um i just want to showcase a little bit more of that What's the saying? I can show you better than I can tell you or something like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things. Hmm. Show you guys around the stereo a little bit. So you have uh, your provisions down here. People who sell like ammunition and food and stuff. They sell gems and jewels. These people over here give you special tasks where if you do the tasks, you get like really rare items and stuff like that some old short lady that mixes stuff up in the pot to help you out. A lot of stuff going on. Oh, uh, the commander and the higher ranking people are over there. Let's go up the stairs. I really like taking the stairs, taking the scenic route. Up here is the blacksmith, which is a place you're going to be spending a lot of time at at Monster Hunter. After you beat your monsters and you cut their parts off, pause, you want to come over to the blacksmith and they're going to be like, hey, I got all these new cool things for you. And go to it. Fixing to craft something, are you? Fixing to craft something, are you? So you see there's a lot of different options here. You can use a little idea. So a little bit great sword. Over from all the different kinds of monsters in the game. Uh, what do we have? Let's see what that looks like. Do a little preview of it. Looks pretty sick, right? Let's look at a longsword. That looks sick, bro. What is that? Oh, it's sheathed so you can't see it, but it has a glow to it. Well, let's go to one that's... That looks sick. So, yeah, man. I love taking the scenic route with Monster Hunter. This is, this is my favorite Monster Hunter, for sure. You know, um... Freedom Unite was definitely good, but I've had the best experience with this one. 
So up here is the gathering hub. Up there is basically the online lobby where you can go hang out with your friends, see their armor and their weapons and their palicos. You guys can do missions together, you can do events. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, they can help you out down here as well. Like if you're playing story mode, you need help on a story mission. If you guys want to do bounties together, you know, your friends can definitely help you. Monster Hunter is a game to play with you and your friends. All right, so this is the training area. Um, basically, it's an area where you can come to to get familiar with the different kinds of weapons. Let's give you a brief little tour. Different kinds of level changes to showcase different scenarios. kinds of stuff you can do it here. Um, this represents like a target. We're gonna do some really cool stuff in here. Uh, again, I <laughs> am trash at the controls and stuff right now, but uh, I just noticed the time of day changed. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into some good stuff in here. All right, firstly, I'm gonna show you more about the light bow gun, which is kind of one of my favorite weapons of choice. Just look at this design first off. Just take a moment to appreciate this drip. And again, if you're somebody who's new to Monster Hunter, look at all this information on the screen. There's literally no way you can not know or learn how to play. It tells you everything you need to know and eventually it becomes Monster Hunter. But I want to get into the light bow gun. And we're going to do this in sections. So I'm going to have timestamps for each weapon so you can skip around for your viewing pleasure. You know, um, we're gonna get into the ammo types. So, this right here is water ammo. The reason you have water ammo, let's say you have a monster who is a fire type. Obviously, that's gonna do more damage to him. If you're familiar with Pokemon or anything like that, it's kind of like pretty self-explanatory. So you hear that and you see that, get little water effects, that's going to do extra damage to a fire monster. Got exhaust ammo, and you see how it says 2 or 3, that's the level of basically how much damage it does or how effective it is. So exhaust ammo is going to make the monster more tired, so if you have a crazy monster that moves around a lot, you hit it with a couple of these rounds you're literally going to see it like kind of stop and start like dry heaving and saliva will come out of its mouth you want to actually see it get tired and it'll make it easier for you and your homies to attack that monster or whatever the case may be moving on we have pierce ammo there's different levels of pierce ammo but this is armor piercing ammunition rounds so if you have a monster that has a thick hide that's made out of like rock or just really thick skin um Shooting it with this bad boy is going to go through and do lots of damage. Um, I wasn't going to try to get all these weapons in action against a monster, but it's just easier to do it this way. And uh, we're going to showcase a particular weapon a little bit later, live in action. Uh, we can skip that. Sticky ammo, two and three. Sticky ammo, pretty self explanatory. You stick it onto the monster. It has a timer on it and it will go big damage you saw that 70 for a bullet is crazy right uh sleep ammo put the monster to sleep um depending on how many times you hit it it's randomized uh you gotta kind of work on it demon ammo i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really remember what I recall is each weapon had like its own special attack. And but I don't know that that's demon ammo. Let's see. I think that just does more damage against certain kinds. Yeah, ammo that fills the target with savage amounts of strength. Oh, so it's a buff. Forgot to mention that. And that's one of the reasons why I like to play this class. You are kind of like a support class. 
with this. So if I have partners, I can shoot them with health bullets. I can give them buffs with certain kinds of ammo to make them stronger, make their attacks stronger. There's all kinds of stuff like that you can do on here. Again, I'm doing a terrible job at explaining this, but it's going to get better. Tranquilizer ammo is, uh, is used to put a monster to sleep, basically. So if you catch it in a trap or something like that, you hit it with this. Every time, you know, go night-night. <laughs> Allow you to take them back to your camp. Recovery ammo. Pretty self-explanatory. Give your homeless some health. Paralysis ammo. Paralysis. You hit it with a monster. <laughs> you paralyze it. Obviously, it's not going to work every time you hit them with it, but it's something to think about. All right, let's dig into our box of tricks and pull out some other weapons. All right. So first, we have our long sword. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy or certain animes, to me, this sword is like the Sephiroth sword, right? So, bam, as you can see. And, uh, it's pretty cool, man. Very anime like. Yeah. Combos and stuff. I'm trash at showing this, man. Thrust. There's one move. Oh, this is so cool, bro. There's one move where you can like run up and go up in the air and come down and there'll be like this delayed slash. It's so cool, bro. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to play, but I don't really know how to do it, to be honest with you. There it is, there it is. Ah, oh, I missed the target though. So look, I'm having trouble with hitting that joint, but it's cool as heck. And <laughs> trust me, if you get in here and get in the lab with certain weapons, you're gonna have a hell of a time. But we're gonna move on because it's gonna take forever if I try to do that. Let's move on to the next weapon. All right, this is a heavy bow gun. The reason I don't really like heavy bow guns is you are a lot slower. So you see the movement speed. You got a monster running around, jumping around, and you moving around like this. You're going to get hit a lot. Um, you can put shields on it, but um, even the roll is slow. Hoist, you know what I'm saying? You can put shields on it and stuff like that, but I've never really been a fan of this. But... You do get a lot of damage with this kind of gun. Uh, let me see what this particular gun has. So you can load in the special ammo. Some of them have like Gatling gun effects. Some of them have like a, uh, this is probably a, like a sniper type of thing. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Big damage, okay. Uh, where is the one? You know, you get like these mortars, which is a, another attack that I like. You shoot like a mortar over, it go up. You get more damage and some of them pop out further. Spread ammo, spread ammo, like a shotgun type of thing. There's one, because the thing is, with certain types of guns, you get different ammo types. So that's the allure of like switching, you know? You can't use certain things. This is it. Ah, yeah. This is one of the things I like to do with this kind of gun. Like, let's say your buddies are fighting a monster, and then you run over. Pull out, you get up in space, you know. <laughs> so that's like one of the cool things about the heavy, heavy bow gun, just having mortars and big attacks like that. But you sacrifice a lot of mobility. 
So it's only really useful if you are playing with other people or if you don't mind getting hit or if you want to put a shield on it. I just personally don't like the lack of movement, I say. Let's move on. Now, you have your giant swords. Another Final Fantasy reference, your Cloud Strife swords. So if you're in the Berserk, your Gut swords. Uh, obviously, the looks are going to change. And that's the whole allure, you know, of fighting new monsters. You get cooler designs for your weapons, different types of attacks. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to play with a giant sword? You can block with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not really familiar with how to use this bad boy. But, you know. Well, you got that charge attack. Huge! Look at the damage. You see the difference? Whereas with bow guns, you get like... Maybe double, di double digits, uh, 30s and 20s and stuff like that. I got 115 with one hit off this bad boy. So, there is a... And trust me, I am a bad representation of how to use these things. I got homies who solo beat the game by themselves, who use these types of weapons. They're absolutely insane at using these things. I'm just not good at it, and I feel a lot bulky with it. But you can't tell me this isn't cool. So the charge blade, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the sword and the shield, but you could combine it. And it's just a really, I mean, it's a dope weapon. It's just, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Look at this stuff, bro. You can dodge into your attacks and stuff. I can totally jump. Uh, what? <laughs> There's a way to charge this joint. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Good. Tristan on this joint. Um, I'm so bad at this. I'm just showing you what they look like, basically. I'm telling you, bro. These weapons are way more extensive than what I'm able to show you. One of my favorite weapons, other than the light bow gun, is the hammer. Something that I have a bit of experience with. Zora Magdalos. Show you a little bit of this later. Bash up, Golan. so cool like you could have a homie who specializes in a certain weapon while you use one thing he use another and y'all got the whole battlefield covered oh that was dope I don't know how I did that you know what I'm saying it's not the light monster hunter bro and I think that's the beauty of it. Like, when you spend time with the weapon and you cultivate your connection with that weapon, nobody else can quite use it like how you do. And you get to build your own style. And, you know, your homies want you to get on and you just show up like, you know, I got y'all. Like, it's, or just playing by yourself, challenging yourself to master different weapons and saying, okay, I beat this monster with this weapon. Let me try something I haven't used before and see if I can beat it with that. It's such a rewarding experience, again, by yourself, with friends, or complete strangers online. The Monster Hunter community is 
pretty awesome. If you need help with anything, people are willing to help you. It's a very inviting community. Um, let, let's keep going. This is a switch axe. Uh, I mean, look at that. It's like a big sword and an axe mixed together. <laughs> stuff I never really ever figured out how to use this thing this is probably one of the weirdest weapons in Monster Hunter in my opinion I did used to use it a little bit you're basically like a super support character with this I don't even know. you like playing music and stuff you see all that up there you can play songs and you can like do status effects and stuff and the monster, you can buff your friends. I don't even know what you're doing again. Yeah, play some music. Uh, get right to it. I'm trying to freestyle, but I can't. You hear that beat? I just can't. <laughs> we gonna skip past this. Now you have your actual sword and shield class. Oh, that was go with that. Yeah, yeah. Mm, cause the brain's on your back. Yeah. Uh, how do you uh, uh how do you like uh defend though? Like that, there you go. Mm. So monster charge you. Ah, uh, watch out. Mm. Mm. Put the shield up. Ah. Again, you can figure out different stuff. There's way more moves than what I'm showing. Let's keep it moving. And you got a bow, bow class, bow and arrow, which is another projectile. Oh snap, that was hard. You can aim with this one right here. You wanna be legolas out here? You know what I'm saying? You got different coatings you can put on your bow. Dragon piercer. Oh. Boy, don't mess with us. I wonder if you can slide down with the bow out. Let me see. I feel like the thing. Boy, don't mess with us. So I'll be able to slide with the bow. There it is, huh? Woo! Uh, I'll put your stern. I'll put your chest. Slide that. On the ground, give it your best. All right. Now this weapon, basically, going to call it the Darth Maul. It is a insect blade, but it's pretty much like a dual wield, well, like a dual bladed lightsaber, a staff. Um, you get these cool little insects that come out with it. That is a skin for it, which is a super cool dragon. Um, but yeah, man, you'll see why I call this Darth Maul in a bit. <laughs> Still there, you get to do all this cool stuff with it. It's very, it's a very like mobile kind of build. You get a lot of movement options. And it's just pretty sick. You have the gun lance, which is a uh, basically what it is. You get a shield with it, but you get this gun, lance. This kind of looks like something that a uh, Final Fantasy character do use. What's his name? Leon? But yeah, so you can kind of defend against stuff. You can shoot. You can shoot with it. Text. And you can do stuff like uh, that. 
We can also do this, right? Ah. It's way cooler when you do it on a monster. And then you have your dual blades, which is basically your Levi or Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Get into a hunt. All right, so when you get to like the location, when you first start out, you're going to be like looking for tracks for the particular monster you're hunting. So that could be like footprints or scrapings, droppings, feathers, whatever the case may be, right? And you have these little flies with you. I don't know if they're called scent flies or something like that, but they can pick up on the trail of whatever monster you're looking for. So the more information you find about the stain you're hunting, eventually you will discover the location. Now I've already done the work obviously, so, and I kind of know where this guy is because he was a pain in the butt coming up through the ranks. But, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. These tracks are Lathian tracks, which is a big green dragon. Like we're not hunting the Lathian today. We are hunting the Diablos. And the flies, they know that we're hunting the Diablos. So That's not a Diablos, by the way. That is a Bereth, another monster native to these lands. We're not looking for him right now. I'm looking for Diablos. As you can see, those claw marks, pretty huge. <laughs> Coming this way, see you hide this grass. Alright, Diablos is over here. He's usually underground. But I kind of want him. Thought I heard something. I don't want to fight him on the ground. I know there's a way to get him to come up. I think if we shoot these guys or something, he'll come up.
This is the third run. Uh, the first run, I beat him in like three minutes, bro. And I looked like a beast. It was amazing. Um, second run was trash. This is the third run that you guys can see. But yeah, man, you beat your monster. Cut the pieces of him off. And um, after the mission is done, you get rewards. I'll show you that in a second. different parts and stuff shows you the complete time all that good stuff right and then you get money you know depending on if you die or not like the people in your party all that good stuff you get hunter rank points you get research points your cat levels up all that good stuff so again if you're considering getting monster hunter playing it i highly recommend it uh let me know if you guys are enjoying these videos if you want me to do more videos like this with monster hunter maybe showing off different monsters and different weapons um let me know if you're interested in picking the game up or what you think about the game um but till next time i will see you all in the next video have a great rest of your day weekend week whatever day it is whatever time it is wherever you are in the world and i will see you in the next one take care